Hi Taurus, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your weekly tarot reading for the week starting the 19th of March to the 25th of March. Now it is a general reading, so take from it what you will, leave what doesn't resonate, yeah? If you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances, the link is in the description box below. We'll just remind you that there is a special this month. There's a coupon code, you can grab it off this video or down below with the link, yeah? And you can get $10 off any personal reading with me. It's valid until the 31st of March. All right, let's get started. And that means you can book up until the 31st of March. You can also book into April, but you've got to book it before the end of the month, yeah, to get your coupon off, code off, yeah, your discount. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, cool. All right. First up, I'm going to pull you a card from the um, Heart and Soul deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. Oh, you already got one that's just like dropped out. Perfect. Um, before I could even finish speaking, yeah. It's all about your heart and soul energy or something you need to know about love and romance, yeah. And you've got this one here, it's kind of beautiful. It's got a rainbow happening. Oh, all right, what it says is, beyond the light of this world, there is an inner light that always shines bright. Close your eyes and be guided by your own inner light. Feel it flow through your entire body, your thoughts and emotions. Feel it relax and heal every part of you. Listen to your immortal dialogue between your soul and your spirit. This is the never ending story of you. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's about tapping into your uh, soul light. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice start to your reading. Just saying, Taurus. All right. I'm going to pull you some cards from the Goddess Guidance deck. And let's see what general advice we've got coming up for you this week. What does Taurus need to know? Okay. First up. Yeah. Hematoma, sacred space. So it's about, if you have not already, it's about creating a sacred space in your home, crystals and candles and a place to meditate, do some quiet time out. It can also mean that if you're not comfortable with that, right, just get out into somewhere beautiful in nature where, or, or a place of divinity that um, appeals to you, right? It's about, about connecting to your higher self. It's about raising your spiritual um, vibration and also it's, it's heart, it's body, mind, spirit, yeah, body, mind, soul, spirit. So it's the whole thing, yeah. Um, releasing, releasing stuff to the divine is the message I'm getting. If you've got any worries or concerns, just release them to the divine, put them into their hands, yeah. All right. Mm. Ishtar. Boundaries, very important to set boundaries with people this week in terms of your energy levels and your time, yeah, um, and your emotions. I just want to say for all star signs, like um, I'm quite empathic, right, so I feel the energies. And we had a very powerful new moon on the 17th of March, which was just last Saturday this weekend, just gone, yeah. Um, and it was all about letting go for new um, for endings and new beginnings transformation and those energies have rubbed off onto this week yeah so if you're feeling drained or people are acting out yeah it's about protecting your soul light and your inner child put healthy boundaries in place with people don't let them affect your soul light or your inner child whatsoever you stand up for yourself and it's not about being rude it's about being firm yeah just saying because they're going to arc up and try it out. That's just the energies that are happening at the moment, yeah. This has come up with quite a few signs. So I'm just wondering if these energies are affecting children at the moment because it's saying um, guiding children. So you basically have the compassionate communication skills in which to guide children to help them with their challenges. Um, also healing. This could be your own children. Um, it could be in terms of your life path, life purpose. It could be somebody else's children as well. Um, not going to resonate with everybody, but it will resonate with some of you. Um, oh my god, that so flew out. Did you see that? Yeah, it makes sense. This makes sense. Okay, so you've also not only got uh, nematoma sacred space, you've got solar's bodies of water. So it's going to be really important for you to um, release and let go of any emotional overwhelming that's going to come up for you this week. Yeah, so get any water, it's very healing. Just release it to spirit. Um, talk to your angels if you're into spirituality. I hope you are. Um, you'll be watching this if you weren't, huh? Um, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be really beneficial and rejuvenating for you this week. I'm going to pull you one more. All right. What else does Taurus need to know? 
You guys are just flying out, just saying, okay, you've got Una, easy does it. This is about allowing things to flow and unfold in divine timing, right? But I'm also re reading the easy does it is to do with your own emotions and your own energy levels as well. Yeah, right next to bodies of water. Be nurturing and kind to yourself this week, Taurus. Okay, I'm going to pull you some cards from the crystal reading deck, one of my favourites. Um, this is going to give us some guidance into uh, things you need to watch out for. Ah, oh, yes, you've got the master teacher card in terms of awakening crystal. Um, it's about emotional healing. So perhaps some of that um, emotional overwhelm you're going through is just those last bits of releasing the stuff that's been let go of in this last week here. Yeah? previous week um it can come up and resurface for you just be kind and gentle with yourself it can also be a really strong indication that you have been doing a lot of work on yourself and you're just about through it you're just about through it yeah mm, interesting okay next to emotional healing you've got lapis lazuli which is past life so you can have some stuff resurfacing from the past, um, memories, karmic stuff coming up that's affecting your thoughts, your fears, your doubts in this present moment, right? That's come from your family life, your parents, your ancestors, their parents before them, a recycling pattern that's going on, right? It's not going to be everybody. If you find yourself uh, repeating the same self-destructive habits, getting into the same types of relationships, attracting the same type of love partner, right? It's karmic, right? Delve into it. Clear it out. Clear it out. It's sitting right under sacred space. So sacred space, if you tap into your meditation, also listen to your dreams. If there's anything subconsciously coming up for you in your dreams that's to do with karmic past life stuff, um, yeah, don't listen to it. Don't ignore it. It's going to help you let it go. Particularly, and I'm getting the fact you've got boundaries, right? You've got boundaries and your past life. Don't be afraid to put boundaries in place with family to protect yourself. Firm, loving boundaries. Just saying, yeah. My goodness, your whole reading is about tapping into spirituality and balancing yourself. You've got deep side Mother Earth, yeah. Um, so not only have you got sacred space, you've got bodies of water, you need to balance and ground yourself this week, Taurus, get your feet on the earth. It also is an indication that you've got a strong connection to Mother Earth, you're a protector of Mother Nature, um, but you also find that inner peace from being out in nature, yeah. Get out there and do it, don't be stuck inside. Mm, thank you so much coming up. Your past life, your ancestors, could have written this myself really, this reading. Petrified wood. Karmic stuff you need to let go of, yeah? Just saying. It's right under guiding children too. So perhaps what's, what's also affecting you is affecting the lineage of your kids, yeah? In terms of uh, how your parents showed up with you, how you were showing up with your kids, with your own children, yeah? It stops with you. It stops with you. Do you want to keep passing it on to your kids? Just saying. Yeah. All right, you've got Brazilian, so flexibility. Be really flexible with yourself and others this week. Be kind and gentle. Be kind and gentle, yeah. All right. One more, be one more. That's such a clear message, yeah. You've also got manifestation, so Libyan gold. And I think, you know, I already talked about your dreams and things like that, but... It's also in that sacred space In um, when you're also letting go of stuff, start doing some manifesting about what you want to attract into your life, around your relationships, around um, your career, your success, abundance, whatever it is that lights you up, yeah? Yeah, put it out there to the universe. It's sitting right under Una, easy does it, perfect timing. So, yeah. All right. For love and romance, for those of you who are single and in relationships, let's pull some cards around your uh, your love life. Uh, these are the Romance Angel Deck by Doreen Virtue. And what does Taurus need to know? Oh, okay. All right, first up, heads up. You've got unrequited love. So basically there's not enough uh, physical attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, yeah? Now, this could be... 
yourself pining for somebody and they're not answering your calls or your texts, right? They're just not interested. Oh, I'm just going to breathe into this. There's a film called um, She's Just Not, he's, He or She's Just Not Into Me, right? It's hilarious. Because um, we can stick our heads in the sand and go, well, why aren't they into me? Because I'm really into them, right? They're running for the hills. And uh, that's because you're chasing them, yeah. The other thing is, is that you might be having people come into your life, particularly if you're in the dating scene, right, and you're single, and they're keen on you. You're not so keen on them, right? Just be honest and open with them and go, yeah, just not into you that much. Um, open yourself up to the love. Don't settle for, I'm going to say, lesser fruit, and that's not a rude thing, right? It's just sometimes when you're working from a higher vibration, you're going to attract lower vibrational energies because they're just attracted to your soul light, right? I want you to do what's right for you. Pick a partner that's worthy of you that's going to do equal 50-50 with you. They've got both feet in, yeah? Not one foot out chasing whatever piece of skirt or pants that's going the other way, yeah? You want true love, yeah? All right. Mm. All right. So you've got the romantic feelings card. So if you've got some feelings for somebody, it's worth exploring, right? Don't push them down. I mean, what's the worst that, they, that can happen? Um, yeah, you could get rejected, right? It just means you'll know. You'll go, okay, well, I'm not wasting any more energy on that. It could also be that you open yourself up to love and you get a yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's sitting under, I just have to say, it's sitting under the past life card. So it could be somebody that's karmic, that's a soulmate or a twin flame also, yeah? Because those two go together. You just never know. Depends what you've been manifesting. Mm. Yeah, you've also got the make the effort card, which is uh, basically says that true love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Yeah, following your heart. Um, don't second guess yourself. It's not a it's not a one way street, right? This effort's got to be on both parts. Yeah, I think the fact you've got unrequited love and you've also got pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. Um, I kind of read this, right? If if you're getting the gut feeling that you're going, it's just not really that into them, yeah? Just trust it. Don't force it. Just go. Don't try and make a relationship out of something, yeah? Also, in terms of red flags, these are things that um, you can kind of get stuck in a situation and go, oh, I didn't really like that. But at the time, you're just too, like, flummoxed by going, I'm not sure if I should have said something, didn't say something. Often we don't say anything, right, because somebody's crossed our boundaries or our our um, values or they've said or they ha they're doing behaviours. You go, not really comfortable with that. So just be on alert for it and see if it happens again. If it happens three times, it's a pattern. That's who they are. Face up to it and either discuss it or go, do I want this in a partnership yeah be honest with yourself I'll pull you two more oh what did I say yeah past life you've got two past life cards so um, if you've met somebody new or they're coming in it's a past life relationship hello Karmic, yeah, karmic, it's drawing you together. So it's a twin flame or a soulmate coming. That's all I'm going to say. You've known each other before. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull one more. In fact, you've got, got it twice. It's come up twice, yeah. Oh, okay. Heads up for some of you. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. So if you had a soulmate partnership or a twin flame that didn't quite, and the fact that, have we got any, we don't really have any other, oh, you got past life twice. Um, I don't have any really other relationship cards here apart from the ones we're pulling at the moment. So kind of decide if it's somebody returning to your life, I'd just be wary of the unrequited love, right? You've got to be into them too. Don't have them just pining for you, yeah? Um, if you're not into them, just heads up. Give, just be truthful and honest with them. Um, or it could be somebody that you are into and they're returning to your life, okay? But just watch out for the red flags because they're out of your life for a reason. Yep, just saying. All right. I'm going to pull you one final card from the Rumi Oracle deck. Uh, this is going to be your crowning energy for your reading. What does Taurus need to know? There we go. Oh, no. Let me get a clear message then, sorry. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, well, okay. It's all about love. We got the lover and the beloved. Beautiful. Now, if this is the first time you watch one of my readings, right, the Rumi Oracle deck, um, it's by Alana Fairchild. It has the most amazingly beautiful messages, yeah? But sometimes they can be a bit long, so just bear with it. Um, because they've got just the most amazing guidance, yeah? I'll show it to you one more time. And what it says, Taurus, is, it is not enough to love me. I want you to allow me to love you. It is not enough to desire me to want to be closer to me. I want to reach out to you and grab a hold of you, drawing you into me and never letting you be apart from me again. There is so much more for us to experience, you and me, than simply gazing, even with love, at each other from a distance. Let me take you into my arms. Let me hold you until we cease to know or care where you are or where I once was, for instead, we will become one. Will you allow it? Will you allow me? Will you allow us to be? Oh, sweet beloved, the divine, the great beloved has a passionate desire for you, to love you, to touch you, to make the divine presence known to you so that it will cease to fear the darkness, take delight in all life and become mesmerized by the beauty of love and its endless emanations. But how we resist love at first. Oh yes, we have been burned before. Have we not? Abandoned, betrayed, so painfully disappointed, cast aside and have suffered at the hands of some unworthy lovers. Can this great divine love affair be tarred with the same brush, with the same bitter expectations that keep the heart closed? You are too beautiful to be hidden away behind a bitter and gated heart. This is unworthy of you. So then, can you allow the great beloved to reach for you, to receive that sacred touch every day, to be spoken to with words of love to receive? You who give of yourself, can you recognize the beloved wishes to give to you too? These need not be mutually exclusive happenings. Come now, deep down, you know the genius of the divine is such that in being received, much is given. You shall not be selfish in letting yourself be seen and loved. Allow it, rejoice in it. Take delight in allowing yourself to receive life and let the world soak up the ardent glow of your sensual surrender into the great beloved's embrace. This oracle brings you a message. Something has to change in your physical world. You're in need of much more sustenance, more love, more connection and more nourishment that touches your body and soul and brings them into deeper oneness with each other, with life and with love. Dare you open up and allow that love in. The great beloved has desired that this be so. Will you heed the holy desire? Will you allow love in? Say yes. If you find this difficult, now is the time to gently, carefully tend to the walls you have placed between yourself and life, the walls of tentativeness, excessive caution, fear of abandonment and betrayal, doubt of your own lovableness, and doubts based on past pain without substance. You are so much greater than the crumbling walls. They are the stuff that is designed for demolition, not devotion and honoring. Can you begin to unpack the bricks you mistakenly believed were essential to your safety and well-being? You are too far vast a sea for that small puddle of thought now. The oceanic world of love is your true home and the sun is beating down on you. It is too hot to gaze at the ocean longingly from afar or even stand by its edge. Strip off your layers, run to the ocean and dive in. This oracle brings you special guidance. An offer or opportunity is on its way to you or has recently been presented. It may be an idea you've been nurturing or one presented to you by another person. Sit with it. Do you feel exhilaration? Do you feel energy at the thought of saying yes? Then say yes. Allow yourself to receive. There is divine encouragement in taking risks that feel wild and alive to your heart. All right. Pretty cool. So if you've been holding yourself back from love, heads up, you need to let the walls down. If you've been holding yourself back from um, your life path, life purpose, time to step into your power. All right, Taurus. 
I think it's mostly about love, to be honest with you. There's a sacred honouring ritual here, so you can get involved or not, or you can just listen quietly. And what it says is, and also just know you're so lovable, right? The secure message here is that you're so lovable. Place your hands in prayer and say, May the almighty divine love and my most beloved brother Rooney bless me with the ability to truly receive in all ways divine abundance and prosperity being delivered to me now by the grace and mercy of the heavens. May I clear and heal any resistance to receiving life truly that I may attain my divine destiny and know and receive love truly in all its majesty, so be it. You can rest for as long as feels good then you have finished your sacred honouring ritual. Wow, powerful, powerful message for this week. All right. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're damn awesome, right? You're just so awesome. Uh, now, don't forget, grab that coupon code. If you want a personal reading with me, expires on the 31st of March. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.